Module 4, Signs, Symptoms and Surgery. Most breast cancers classically present with a palpable mass, possibly with some associated skin dimpling and tethering of the nipple. However, there may be no signs or symptoms and the cancer may only be detected during screening. A diagnosis of breast cancer is made by a combination of a full clinical history and a full and careful examination of the breasts and associated nodal drainage areas. If metastases are suspected, then further examination should include both supraclavicular fossae, the abdomen for liver enlargement, and the spinal column for bony tenderness. If indicated, a needle biopsy may be performed. Fine needle aspiration allows determination of cytology, whereas wide bore or core needle biopsy allows an accurate histological diagnosis to be made. Once a diagnosis of invasive breast cancer is confirmed, the patient needs to be accurately staged. Depending on staging, further treatments are advised. Treatments can be used to control local disease or systemic spread. Surgery for breast cancer includes wide local excision, quadrantectomy or mastectomy. Potential involvement of lymph nodes also needs to be managed, either via guided sampling using the sentinel lymph node technique or axillary clearance. Breast reconstruction should be offered to any woman undergoing a mastectomy. Reconstruction can be in the form of a simple implant only or including the use of myocutaneous skin flaps.